I'm Justin Flom and I've been doing magic since I was a little kid. Performing magic is all about illusion and it's not real, but what is real is wonder. Magic can happen anywhere, even right there at your own house. Join me as I show you a few tricks for you to share wonder with the folks in your life. Are you ready? Let's do it. Do you, when you're doing the tricks and everything, yeah. how, like you're so fast at it and you're so quick. I mean, you've done it for you so long. You gotta be long, quick. How do you like, how does your brain keep up with that? Well, I've been doing it since I was a little kid. So like I've been, so since I was a kid, I've been making different magic tricks happen or whatever. I'll even show you one right now. If I've got, uh, yeah, this would be cool. <laughs> so first of all, this is the, the red squishy ball trick. Uh, so you get a dog toy, kid's toy, whatever you like. And when I push it into my fist like that, we're going to make it change colors. Okay. And look at that. It changes. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm going to show you the secret to the trick because uh, it is just a little bit of sleight of hand. Very, How do you easy. have the red one in your pocket? <laughs> Listen, you just need two squishy balls, okay? So I'm going to teach you how to do this trick, and, okay. uh, and it's pretty cool. So now first things first, you got to put these squishy balls together like this, and all of that goes in your hand, okay? So now you don't know it, but I did this before we turned on the camera and everything. And then when I want to do the trick, I just pull out only the red one, Okay, and I keep uh, I keep my fist closed. If I open up my fist, it'll ruin the trick. Okay, yeah. so you got to keep this fist closed, and then you can push that red one through your fist, and you take out that other one, the other color that uh, they don't know about. You just take that out of your fist, and it looks like they changed colors. Now, don't ever let the audience see that you've got the other little squishy ball. If they accidentally see that, then the trick's ruined, and you actually have to start the trick over. In which case, you push it through, and you actually change the color. <laughs> Okay. So now that's that's how it's done it happens very quick and it's all because you have an extra ball sorry the extra ball is supposed to be red okay that's that's on me so when you push it through yeah it should be red like this now that of course sets you up for the big surprise ending which i love and that's uh that's a new trick for you right there uh, when you're doing the tricks like in real life with people do you ever not that you may confess up to it, but do you ever mess it up and have to play it off and come up with a new magic trick on the spot? All the time, all the time. You never know where the magic trick's gonna go. It's like, I don't know, it sounds artsy fartsy, but it's jazz. Like here, let me see if I got one of those. Uh, yeah, this will be, this will be cool. There's no way uh, that I can change this one, okay? I'm locked in okay. and you're going to make the magic happen on this. Okay, okay? so I'm magic, okay. You're, yeah, this, this relies 100% on you. If it messes up, this is uh, your fault. So I feel the pressure. No pressure. I, I, before we started up the cameras and everything, I put something uh, in this card box. Now, here's the thing. When you have people name a card, they always go for like the ace or maybe the queen because, uh, you know, beautiful women, they like to choose the queen of hearts or the queen of diamonds. I don't want any of that. I want you to go random. Okay, crazy random. And in your head, before you even say it out loud, change your mind a bunch of times. Because we didn't pre interview this, right? No, this is the first you time no I've idea. in my life. Yeah you, have, yeah, you have no idea what's about to happen. No. Nope. So, name any card from a deck of cards. Make it random, obvious, not obvious, something that I could never predict. Do I tell it to you? Yeah, you can tell me. Okay, seven of clubs. Now, if you want to, you can change your mind. It's totally up to you. Or you can, or you're going to stick with it. It's up to you. I want to stick with it. Okay. Seven Here's of clubs. The thing. Seven of clubs. In this deck of cards, I put an X through one card. Just a big old X, like X marks a spot. And I flipped it over the other direction in the deck. I'm going to leave this in frame the whole time. So there's no okay. cheating. It's not like I got a little ninja you know, running around, helping me out, I'm just leaving everything in frame. And besides, you made the choice and you could have changed no. your mind. I want you to see this. Look, none of these cards have an X on any of them. None of them. And no other cards are backwards in the deck. Only one card was backwards <laughs> and it's got a giant X through it. You could have said any card. I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, that one messes with it. your head, doesn't it? 
It is it's because you have the one. marker. You the literally the marker is on the seven of clubs. I don't like you don't have a marker. I know, I know, I love it. Like that's the sort of stuff that just gets me going. Uh, when you're doing magic, uh, there's classics of magic. Like, uh, oh, there's this old one where you take these big silver rings and you'd link them together, right? Yeah. You ever seen one of the old magicians do that sort of trick? Probably, it sounds really familiar. You've heard of it, you've heard yeah. of it. But the, the thing is, uh, nobody has big giant rings made of metal. That's not like a normal object, but we do have uh, lifesavers. So I picked these up at the store before the interview, and this will be cool. Uh, so if we take out a lifesaver there, hang on. I'll even take out two. This will be cool. I'm like this. Oh my God. These create our, our rings. I want to make sure that the camera. Put together, I swear. Well, listen, it's, it's a challenge. Now, there's only these two rings, and you can see the whole ring. That's, that's the important thing. But if we bring them together like this, you can actually link them together. It really, it's this weird optical illusion. It almost looks like they're linked. I don't know how it looks on your end. That looks pretty crazy on my pretty, end. Pretty linked. And you didn't bite and, off a thing in your, when you put it in your mouth. No, the biting happens when it gets a little bit weirder. The biting happens like this. Watch. If and we they just apart. separate them like that, <laughs> so they're separated, and then, hang on. Um, I swear. If I get it in the right space, um, these are my AirPods, but the old school ones yeah. are these uh, regular headphones. And with these... I'm kind of do a little fishing. Let's see, like that. Mm. There it is. Right. <laughs> right about. Nope. Mm. I don't understand, and I really want to understand. What is the craziest reaction you've ever got? I did some magic for Fifty Cent once at a party. Oh, what did he do? Where? So, what was crazy about it? So he had some, uh, I, made, I made his $1 bills change into $100 bills. He probably in his liked hands. that. Okay. He brought out, I'm not going to say where he was coming from, but he brought out a, like a wad that big of singles. Okay. So, it's like, okay, you can, <laughs> convert this. You can, you can take what you want from that. But he was at a party with a, with a wad this thick of singles. And, uh, and I had him take a handful of them and we turned them into $100 bills. And now here's what was interesting. His crew like exploded. They're like running around, yo. But he was like stoic and quiet and he was just staring at the money. Uh, it, was, it was really cool. Wait, I want to do one. Okay. I want to be magic. Yes. Can, do you have anything that you can do or do you want to learn one? I want to learn one, but I have a deck of cards. You have a deck of cards. This is perfect. I'm going to teach you one with a deck of cards. Okay. Now. We don't have any friends around us right now, but this is one that you'll be able to do for your friends, okay? This is, uh, first I'll, I'll, this is a stupid one, and then I'll show you the cool one. It's fine, uh, start with Here we go. Name, this is amazing. Just think of any card in the deck. Any card, just think of it, okay? And I want you to just, to, don't say it yet, but just send, let's see, send that thought to me, just send it to me. I don't want to do the card. Oh my goodness. One card's like floating up out of the thing. What card are you just thinking of? Three of hearts. No. Stop, I don't like okay. that. <laughs> All right, so now here's how you can do a trick. Here's how you can do a cool trick. This is really fun. When the, when, this is the setup for the secret thing for the trick. You're going to put what, any card. Okay. It doesn't matter what card. You just put a card on the bottom of the deck backwards, okay? So you've got the whole deck of cards, and there's one backwards right here, okay? Now, this is your secret setup. You hold this deck of cards in your hand with that upside-down card on the bottom. Nobody knows about that, okay? That's the secret to this trick. So you now you go up to your butt. This one is... You can't see this. Yes, the audience doesn't know that that's there. 
So then you go up to your friend and you're like, hey, pick a card, whatever. And they can take out any card. Let's say they take out, I don't know, the 10 of clubs. Anything, doesn't matter. They're looking at this card and you tell them, like, show all of your friends and all that. Secretly, you're going to flip these cards upside down. You don't have to do it all fancy like me. All you have to do is just turn over these cards so that your secret card there is now on top. This is what that means. Watch. Now you've got the deck of cards like this. Yeah. And when they go to put their card back into the deck, they're putting their card in the wrong upside way. down. Yeah, it's the wrong way. They don't know that yet. They're, they're totally clueless because they're a muggle and you're a magician. So now you take that card and you push it all the way in. And now you go, I'm going to find your card instantly behind my back. And I just go like this, boom, it's done. Now, all I did behind my back was take that secret card and flip it back over so that the deck is normal again. That's all I did behind my back. But now I can say, look, one card in the deck is backwards. What was your card? And they go, no way is that the 10 of clubs. And then there it is, the 10 of clubs. And that's the secret to the trick. How cool many trick, right? Been on Magic a day? All the hours. <laughs> I mean, anything, anytime I'm not on TikTok or Facebook, then, then I'm doing magic. <laughs> around the house, are you, your wife, are you with your wife around the yeah. house? You ever uh -huh. flip her? All the time. I love doing she that, but she's around it. <laughs> she doesn't trust me at all because uh, everything I do is a silly trick. So uh, by the time it, by, by the time I'm trying it out on her, she's like, get away from me with whatever you're about to try. I don't Wait. want, I don't want any part of that. Is it hard to resist doing magic? Like when you are, like when you see the golden opportunity and you just know it's not the right time. I'm always, it's, I got like, I've got one last trick over here and I'm like, oh, I'll do this one last trick before we're done. Cause I like love, I love doing, doing the stuff. Well, thanks well, for hanging out. Yes. Thank you so much too for t kind of teaching us magic, showing us some magic. <laughs> <laughs> we can't wait for the new, uh, the new episodes to come out now that you told us about them. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Love for the new episode. My pleasure. See we'll you uh, next time. Thanks for hanging out.